Hello students. Today we are going to study about the keyboard. A keyboard is known as a QWERTY keyboard. Why do we call this a keyboard a QWERTY keyboard? Yes, because on the first line on, on the keyboard we have QWERTY. The letters are Q, W, E, R, T and Y. So we call it a QWERTY keyboard. This keyboard is most widely used. Before we study about the keyboard, let me tell you few things Christopher Latham shows. He invented typewriters. Before computers were invented, there were typewriters which were widely used. He invented typewriter in the year 1864. He tried assembling the keys in different format. But what used to happen? Those keys when typing used to get jammed. So in the year 1870, he finally came up with a QWERTY keyboard or a QWERTY typewriter. So since then, we use a QWERTY keyboard. A keyboard is used for typing letters and numbers. It is the most widely used input device. We enter data with the help of a keyboard. So children, today we are going to study about the special keys of the keyboard. Now which are the special keys of the keyboard? We have backspace key, enter key, shift key, control key. All these keys are the special keys. So we are going to learn about the special keys. Caps lock key. A caps lock key is used to make your letters capital. With the help of caps lock key, we are able to write capital letters. When you press this key, the light on the keyboard will glow and that's how you know that the Caps lock key is on. Let us see where it is located on the keyboard. So a caps lock key is located towards the left of the keyboard. It is just next to the letter A key. A shift key is used as a combination key. Let us learn about the shift key but before that let us see where is the shift key on the keyboard. We have shift key in two places. It's towards the left and you have it right below the enter key. A shift key is used as a combination key. Children, there are few keys on the keyboard which has number as well as symbols. There are few keys with two symbols on it. To use the symbols, we make use of shift key. For example, you have a symbol on top of number 2. So I want, if I only press 2, I will get number 2. But if I want this symbol to be printed, what shall I do? So I will press shift and 2 key together. So this will help me get the other hand symbol. Similarly, if you want greater than sign, you need to press shift and the full stop key. This will help you get the upper symbol of the key. And shift and U. Together when you press these two keys you get capital letter. You get a capital U. So shift key is used when you want to type only one letter capital. So this are the various uses of a shift key. Then we have is a control key. A control key also works like a shift key. It is also a combination key. Control keys are used to create shortcuts. For example, if you want to make the text bold, you make use of control and B. So this helps you to make your text bold. It's located right below the shift keys. Control keys are also at two places. 
Then we have is a backspace key. A backspace key is used to erase text on the left of the cursor. A backspace key is located just above the enter key. Now, this is a cursor. The line you can see in between the words is a cursor. I want to erase the letter P. When I press backspace, what will happen is the letter P will be erased. It will go. So, this is how backspace is used. It erases letters towards the left of the cursor. Then we have is a delete key. A delete key also works as an eraser. It also erases letters. But it erases on the right of the cursor. A delete key is next to the enter key on the keyboard. We have a cursor placed just before S. What will happen if I press delete? When I press delete, the S will be erased. So you see the difference between the backspace and the delete key? A backspace key will erase letters towards the left of the cursor and a delete key will erase letters on the right of the cursor. A tab key works like space bar key, but it gives several spaces. A tab key is used to move your cursor to a certain position. It is located just above the caps lock key. Then we have our punctuation key. What are punctuations? Punctuation marks are those symbols that are used in a sentence. They help us to understand the sentence better. So the different punctuation keys are you have commas, full stop, question mark, exclamation mark. So all these are the punctuation keys are on the keyboard. A full stop key is used to end the sentence. A comma gives a break in the sentence. And a question mark is used when you ask a question. So, these keys can also be used by typing a letter. 